morning, good morning. <laughs> hey everybody, hey, I'm just going to make some butter biscuits for morning tea for my game. And I thought I would jump online and just show you what I do. <laughs> That's super easy. All right, so what I'm going to do, um, normally what I do is I search for this particular case. I've actually made them before, so I'm going to go into, I know it's in reverse because of my silly camera, but hopefully I'll get that sorted soon. So please uh, uh, forgive my reverse thing, but this one here says recently cooked. And when you click on recently cooked, you can actually see everything, all the meals that you have made beforehand. Now I'm just gonna scroll down because I've got butter biscuits, but these are all my meals that I've made. <laughs> there we are, butter biscuits. <clears throat> so if you've got a recipe that you've made previously, it's a super quick way of just jumping to it. Okay, so I think I've got all the ingredients now. I'm gonna preheat my oven. There we are. <clears throat> Excuse the frog in my throat this morning, bright and early. Okay, line a tray. There we go. I'm sure you guys have seen this before, but I'm just going to show you when you're lining your baking paper. You know how <clears throat> baking paper's all unruly? Give us fast. Okay. There we are. Look, see how it stays? So you give it a scrunch and it stays. All right, so I'll pop that aside. That's gonna do nothing. Right, now 250 grams of plain flour. Now you can you can use gluten-free flour if you like for these ones, they're awesome. Um, I am just going to tear that off and grab my spatula. Now I'm not eating these ones, so I'm just making them in plain flour. There we go. So, as I pop it in, can you see it? Hey, hi, thanks for watching. <laughs> All right, so I'm just making butter biscuits this morning. 2.50, there we are. Just needed something quick and easy for lunches just to fill up uh, lunch boxes. <coughs> or afternoon tea. Okay, caster sugar. Now, it says caster sugar. I'm actually just going to use... Oh, actually, what I'll do, I'll show you. <coughs> so I'll just show you, in case you haven't seen this at all. Hi, hi, everybody. <laughs> so I'm just going to swap it. This is 100 grams of caster sugar, but I've only got raw sugar, and that's okay. I was actually just going to use raw sugar, but I'll just show you if you... Have two bowls, which is why it's awesome to have two bowls. I'm just gonna swipe on, turn on the scales, pour in some raw sugar, and there we go. Pop my lid on, and I'm going to actually hop out of there and just turn, uh, come back to here, just turn on, literally, um, so I'm just making, just making the caster sugar. All you need is raw sugar, and with your caster sugar, do it for about three seconds. Speed ten. Two, three, four. And you have caster sugar. It'll actually mill it for you. So that, that's one of the great things of having the two bowls if you've forgotten to have it. Isn't that awesome? All right, so I'll, pop this. I'll go back to my recipe. So see how I've bookmarked it? You click back on your bookmark. Okay. Here we go. Now it says if I just tear that off, add in my caster sugar, which is what I've just done. Can you see that? <laughs> how cool is that? So if you wanted to make icing sugar, here we go. If you wanted to make icing sugar, it's 10 seconds. If you want to make the um, the awesome, like the super, super, super fine icing sugar, it's about two minutes in your Thermomix, okay? So what you do after about a minute, um, scrape down the sides, let it go for another minute, scrape down the sides, and you have the mm -hmm. absolutely super, super, super. It will literally be like clouds. It's amazing. But otherwise, if you just have to um, icing sugar. Now, putting in 100 grams of butter. Butter. Has to be said in that way. <laughs> All right. There we go. Popping in my butter. This is my homemade butter. So if you ever see cream at the shop. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Good 
morning, beautiful bee. <laughs> um, if you ever see cream at the shop, make sure you grab it because um, usually it's usually it's about to expire. But you can make yourself really cheap butter, and it's awesome because what happens? It's really it's just the uh, buttermilk that's going off. So when you make your uh, butter, it spins out the buttermilk, and you're left with your fabulous butter. Okay. So I'm just making some butter biscuits this morning, everybody. <laughs> you and you, um, you're making lunches, putting lunches together, and then you go, oh my gosh, I have nothing else to add in. I'm just gonna quickly throw in. So I'm just gonna quickly make some butter biscuits. They are super quick and easy. Hi, hey, Laura. <laughs> Thank you for watching. <laughs> All right, two spoons. So I'm just going to pop in some baking paper, paper, baking paper, baking powder, not putting my baking paper in. <clears throat> okay, so I'll just show you what it looks like. There we are. Pop your lid on. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Thank you, B. All right, so now it's, now it's going to go for 20 seconds and it's going to turn around to speed six. That's seriously <laughs> Now it does say to put some sugar onto a plate, but my poor guys, I think there's enough sugar in it. They're not, they don't need any more sugar than that. So, it's right. <laughs> so all you do now is literally just grab, make sure your hands are washed, obviously. Grab out some dough. Put it into a little ball. You can make these as big as you wish. I tend to, um, I tend to make them about a golf ball size, so they're really handy. Look at everybody. <laughs> Hi everybody, so easy. <laughs> and if you've got any questions, please let me know as well. If I don't see any comments, I um, don't see your question, I will respond to you afterwards as well. Or if you don't feel happy about uh, posting on there, just send me a little message afterwards as well. I'm happy to do that. Okay, so you get the idea. So these are my butter biscuits. They don't look like butter biscuits, they look like more butter balls, and that's okay. <laughs> Can you see the one there? All right, so I'll move them out a bit. And then all you do with your fork, so you can dip them into sugar if you wish, um, but then just li literally just press them down with a fork. And if you wanted to, um, you could put a little bit of vanilla in there as well. Or, and if you wanted to, if you wanted to be a super mummy, which unfortunately I'm not, <laughs> you can decorate them as well, make them really, really pretty. Like you can put hundreds and thousands on them and all that sort of thing. So yeah, but anyway, I just wanted to jump on and show you. So they're ready to go to in the oven. So I'll finish off my batch. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share. So enjoy your day. And I hope that helped a little bit with making the lunches, etc. So, and uh, let me know if you've got any questions, guys. I'll see you. Have a lovely day. See you. <laughs> Bye.